What's up you guys? I hope you're having a great day. Today I am going to talk to you about optimizing your office slash studio space and how to make the best of it. So let's get right to it. Follow me on Instagram and as you're seeing right now behind me, this is a whole new look. I'm trying to just go for a better workflow to feel more inspired in so I started building this little office slash studio and we just got this big box on the mail I ordered some lights so let's see how we can make this space uh, better for recording myself for working uh, just how to do it better using LED panels Oh wow, okay. I got a pack of two uh, panels. I actually thought they were gonna be bigger, but this is it. This is the panel. It's a 15 inch MacBook Pro. And then this is the lights. In the description it says like 13 to 15 inches and this is definitely not. As Open this up. My God, such strong tape. Oh, let's go. It has input for two. I think this is some Sony AF battery. It doesn't come with batteries, but you have the option to buy two battery pack in Amazon. I will link that below as well. But it gives you the option to plug in an AC adapter here so that you can plug it into the wall. I will, I recommend getting the batteries though, even though I did not get it yet. But I will get it in the future because if I want to take this out on a shoot or like, a place that doesn't really have any plugs oh, this will definitely come in handy if there's a, a pack that comes with one light two lights and three lights I'm guessing the third light will come in this pack right here take just one light out close this so this is this is a really convenient case you can carry everything three lights and I believe it comes with two stands so let's see it does come with an AC adapter out of the bag so there it is, you can plug it in, nice and neat. It does come with two light stands because I got the two light package. I'm guessing if, it, if you get the one light package, it will come with one, or if you get the three light package, it will come with three light stands and three AC connectors. It's aluminum, obviously, it's not metal because it's very light. It comes like with a hot shoe, so you can put it on top of your camera as well. Even though that big ass panel of LED is a little overkill on top of your camera. But it has a hot shoe mount and a screw button. So like if you wanna put like a tripod or the same light set and it does tilt to face low or face up if you want it on a lower angle. Also, it comes with a remote. Nice. It's like plastic solid. Kinda looks like an iPod. Two triple A batteries, which I do not have at the moment. From here I could just light it up and turn it off. Convenient, you know, nowadays everybody's looking for convenient, but let's just get this set up and see how it looks. Go ahead and plug this in right at the back. And striking. Wow, this is super bright. This is the lowest percentage of the light that is. Now we're gonna turn it up all the way up, and you see how bright this is might consider keeping it maybe at 30 percent which you can not only change the percentage of the output but you can also change the temperature and go from tungsten to daylight so as you right here so right now we're at 4400 kelvin we click it and let's go all the way to 56 kelvin and this is usually the most appealing to the human skin i don't know it's, it's the one that looks most cinematic there and only with this light so now we're starting to see like a lot like nice you see how this side of my face is in shadows and then this side is like really nice so that is what a key light does you want to usually bring it not in front not totally sideways but like diagonally and a little above you so like it gives you that nice contrast on your face and you look nice and so look so now you see this side is really contrasty and now as a hair light, I'm going to use this tiny LED panel. I got this at B&H for 
like 30 bucks so now let's put it on the tripod it's gonna give me a little bit of light of highlights on this side so that it could separate me from the background so let's go ahead and set that up see how it looks so it's giving me a little outline here just to separate me from the background let's set it up as if you were gonna sit down talking to the camera so we're just gonna use this two lights as the big one as my key light because remember as if your source of light is bigger the light is gonna be softer so let's just go ahead and set that up hey haha <laughs> all right <laughs> here we are with the two lights set up the big panel is right here like maybe an arm and a half away from me and you see how nice and like soft that light is on me and then the other tiny light is like five feet behind me now it's not the most perfect setup but it will do for a little setup like this like it's sufficient to get you from point a to point b basically just saying but yeah okay you guys thank you for watching if you found something useful in this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't consider giving it a thumbs up too please comment down below what you thought of this setup is it useful is it not could it be better everything could be better there's always room to grow but you know just comment down below let me know what you think so stay tuned thanks for watching bye you guys okay bye <laughs> oh i'm still i'm still kind of uh, bye peace